before we crossed the border, we, everybody in the subunit was given ammunition and weapons and uh, hard drug uh, Promadol, which you need for in case you're badly wounded and get a pain shock so that you don't die because of the pain shock. And they also gave us red armbands. After we crossed the border, we we started moving towards the inhabited locality Novaya Sloboda. We passed it and moved further. Our brigade's task was from the very beginning to reach Kyiv and uh, take uh, three bridges over the Dnipro River. We were told that for the whole operation we would need five days. At this point everyone is cornered in a corner like dogs. No one gives a shit about us. Our command has abandoned us. They treat us like, well, just like consumables. After we crossed the border, we roamed from one inhabited locality to another, tried to take Gogoliv, but nothing worked. After we, after we crossed the border, Russian soldiers got, uh, they understood that they could do anything on this foreign territory. They felt like masters. They started to loot, rob, kill civilians and rape women. And it went even so far that they would steal even home appliances, inflatable boats. I saw it with my own eyes after we arrived. These people live their own Ukrainian lives and they don't want our liberation. We're aliens here. I also want to tell my, my servicemen who are now located here for them to wake up. Nobody needs this war, this genocide. On the 1st of April I was taken prisoner during an attack, a breakthrough. I was giving medical assistance to a fellow serviceman, but no one came to take us away, they simply forgot us. After that I had no other choice but to surrender. I am asking you that you do not trust the news, that what they're saying. We're not fucking doing well. It's not 1,500 casualties. We have lost much more people. Our army is almost destroyed. Here, they're just chopping us like cats. The fact that I'm still alive is... It's just big luck that I survived. And we as well, on some occasions, we looted, took gold out of the houses. There were even such occasions when some individuals burned houses of the local population and left them roofless. And what's been done to Kharkiv and Mariupol, these cities have been wiped off the map. They have... they've been pissing in our ears all this time. They... Putin told us that we... that we're liberating Ukraine, supposedly from fascists and nationalists. But here, for all this time that I've been here, I have not met even one fascist or nationalist. I've only heard and seen what animals our own people are and what they're doing here. And I cannot explain to myself what the hell I'm doing here. I ran after big money like an idiot. They promised us golden mountains here, and I bought it like a fool. Slava Ukraini!